Hello there, friends. I'm Damian, and I welcome you to another episode of One Cook Greek. So this one is on the list with the top 10 Greek traditional foods, but you're gonna need some precision with the times and quantities. Don't worry, that's why I'm here, to assist you. Together, we'll make a food that would make our grannies proud of us. Enough said, fasten your seat belts or your cooking outfits and let's go make some red spiced meatballs or in Greek, sujukakia. It might sound easy to make sujukakia, but as said before, it needs some kind of kitchen experience. And that's because you're going through different stages of cooking. Mixing the meat, frying, stewing, preparing the salsa, well, yeah. So let's face the challenge. For a start, tell your butcher to pass the meat through his machine only one time. And remember, the meat must be in room temperature. So if it's in the fridge, let it out overnight. Let's start with ingredients. Shall we? Six hundred grams of cow minced meat and three hundred grams of pork minced meat. The original recipe contains lamb minced meat instead of pork, and the cow minced meat must be from a fairly fat spot, as neck, chuck, or shank. Some salt and pepper, an onion, and three pieces of garlic. One and a half small spoon with cumin, which gives its characteristic taste some rusk powder, or better, a three days old bread spirit, softened with water. Some water since I'm using rusk. Flour for the fry. And never forget the olive oil. And now the ingredients for the salsa. Salt. Pepper. And a small amount of sugar. For once again, one and a half small spoon with cumin, three pieces of pimento, and a small laurel leaf, a big onion, two pieces of garlic, two medium tomatoes, some strong tomato pasta, and olive oil. Well, that's it. Let's convert all these goodies to a delicious food. But first, you should wash your hands. To begin with the mixing, I'm gonna use this old-fashioned bowl. I throw in the mincemeat. Both of them. I add salt. Pepper. Now, take a rest, put it aside, and heat the onion and the garlic in the mixer. Some olive oil here. After you put the mixed ingredients into the bowl, add the rusk powder, some water, and a little bit more oil. For the cumin, Use this small spoon. So now I'm gonna prepare the mixture with my bare hands.
add some more rusk powder if it's needed. Oh, it already smells delicious. And that's it. Prepare the flour. Grab a small quantity of mincemeat and work it in your palm until it looks like this. Now squeeze gently. You might want to use both hands until you bring it to its final shape. Roll it into the flour. So finally, they're gonna look like this. Use olive oil into your fry pan so that you cover almost the half of the sujukakia height and let it burn. So the oil is ready, we start to fry the spiced meatballs. The oil is not ready. Don't forget them into the pan. When they're bland, roll them. Get the same color from both sides and pull them out. Let's chop the ingredients for the salsa. time to make the red salsa some olive oil now the oil is in right temperature throw onion and garlic inside the pimento tomatoes attack and the strong tomato pasta Some water, cheers! The lower a leaf. Don't forget to lower the temperature to 60%. Now add salt, pepper, The cumin, of course. And the small amount of sugar. Some more water, enough to drown the sujukakia into. And we wait for about 10 minutes, so to be sure that the salsa here is done. Great! Let's drown the spiced meatballs into the salsa. It will take 25 to 30 minutes of stewing, so if you notice any lack of water, add some or they're gonna burn. Now, all we have to do is to wait. The most common way to serve them in Greece is with yellow parboiled rice. Mm -hmm. 
we're finally there! Greek traditional suzukakia with rice and red spice salsa. Granny is proud! <laughs> 